believe, which is I'm just asking you what we, Trump believes. We, I'm telling you what he's running on right now. But I know what he's, he's running, running on, on is right now. Because I know he's running, running on, on it to right win. Now. He's not running Look, on it because it's what I get it. he actually I would believes. Attack, if, I didn't, if I couldn't articulate a single restriction, I would attack Trump. This too. is what Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh believes, is that it's none of your business what women do with their body. And so stay out of our doctor's offices and stay out of our bedroom. Well, I guess I have to speak up for the babies. They're not here to speak for themselves. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy indeed. That's Republican Scott Jennings revealing the only thing Democrats appear to be loyal to is their obsession with terminating the unborn. Welcome to NERC News, I'm Nurkish, and since Democrats forced the old cadaver in chief out of office, they've really been trying to shake the stigma of being anti-family. The only problem is they've swapped safe, legal, and rare for an obsession with fanatically opposing the life issue. To make matters worse, Harris's running mate repealed a law that required medical treatment for babies born alive despite their mother's wishes to medically terminate them. Here's Scott Jennings pointing that out and causing the unbiased talking heads on CNN to absolutely melt down. What were the condition of these, yes. what, of these, of these, uh, of these Look, babies when they were why, born? Why can't, why can't what, 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 what was the participation of the, the they, family? They, they tried think, to abort think, the babies, think, and they you, survived the abortion, you, you and think, then they died. And you think that families casually uh, uh, toss them aside. No, I tell think, me I, what their condition was. Scott, could they have survived? The and survived and did it, was it a no. case of families not think. wanting okay. children to suffer who were they, when they were told that they are doomed? Yes. Yeah. Is that, and is that is the reality know. of the so case. That, that seems you know important what? to me. Here's what I will say. Keep talking about that because when you all talk about abortion like this, it is when women and that gender gap con con continues to divide, not in your favor. Because women, it is disrespectful to pretend like women are making choices about abortion that is the intent to just let a baby well, die at nine months. Let me finish it here. And... The, and it is dishonest for J.D. Vance to go up there and try and push that narrative. And that is what I'm saying when I said he presented well, but his policies and what he was saying was not truthful. It just wasn't. And that is why the overwhelming American people, since Roe has been overturned, you guys are not winning. You are not winning. And if you run on this issue, you will not win in November. You know, nothing reveals how little liberals understand conservatives than when they make arguments like this. A lot of conservatives genuinely believe that this issue is taking a human life. But liberals are only concerned with winning, so they can't imagine someone standing on principles at the expense of that. Which leads them to making arguments like, if you only sacrifice what you believe, you'd win more elections. But the fact of the matter is, at this point we're so beyond reasonable discussions on this issue. This has become Democrats' entire platform, and now more and more on the left are openly celebrating it, and in some cases, like Bill Maher, openly calling him murder while doing so. They're not running on this issue. They're running. They're on, lying they're, on they're, this. They're, issue. they're they're running on. It's up to the states, and they're running on Donald Trump's moderate position of some reasonable restrictions. <laughs> rape, they're incest, lying. and life for the mother. Can I say something? IVF support. They're lying. Can I just say something moderate. about this? They're lying. You, you you are one of your frequent go-to points is Kamala Harris said this in 2019. That's her position. Donald Trump said women should be punished if they had an abortion. Why shouldn't we hold him to that? You talk about his moderate position. His moderate position has been adopted over the course of this campaign for purposes of this campaign after he put the justices on the Supreme Court who overturned Roe, who've created a crisis for women who live in 20 states in this country. His position is moderate and it is in line with what I think most Americans Do you believe want. him when he said when and, he said that women should And I be think Harris and Walls have proven they cannot discuss even a single restriction that they want. That's absolutely true. This issue has consumed Democrats to the point that they're terrified of even suggesting there could be some restrictions on it. And instead of discussing it like rational human beings, they get hysterical, use exceptions to define the rule, push propaganda like women bleeding in parking lots, and use emotional blackmail to silence objections based on sex. Yet their argument never seems to cut the other way though. They're constantly saying that men shouldn't have an opinion on this issue, then openly celebrate being childless cat ladies who for some reason absolutely need to have a say in what's being taught in your children's schools. Call me crazy, but I don't think that's how this works. But let me know what you think. Are Democrats pro-family? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!